This problem is a worldwide problem because now Apple is not only thinking about booting Twitter here, which would, which would severely hamper our free speech, uh, but they are really cracking down on these protests in China. It's rather extraordinary. Uh, Sachs went on to talk about that. I just got to finally ask you a personal question. So you've, you've been in this business, at the top of this business, you know, all your life effectively. I'm sure you've seen everything in the tech world. Were you shocked to learn that Apple was preventing nonviolent protesters in China from communicating with each other? It, it is pretty shocking because the way that it was done, Tucker, was they had a, an update. It was like 16.1.1 or something like that. And they didn't say, normally what they do is when they do an update, they put in the, the release notes what they're changing. And they said right. in the release notes they were changing, you know, doing bug fixes and so on. They didn't mention that they were limiting the use of this airdrop feature. Normally, Apple is very proud of their releases and they're eager to tell yes consumers what it is that they're doing. But in this case, for some reason, they didn't mention it. And you have to want. Okay, I know this is a little insidery tech stuff, but this is super interesting. So we've shown you some of the videos over the last couple of days of what's going on in China. There are massive protests against their zero COVID policy. And because it's a communist country, people don't protest that often. Because you know what happens? You end up in jail or you end up getting killed. But people have had enough. People are dying because they're locked in buildings and all this stuff. So what happened was people were sharing videos using iPhones. People were sharing videos using AirDrop so that you could take a video, okay? This is a little technical, but this is what was happening. They would take a video and then using AirDrop, you could send it to like everyone around you, right? And then they could send it to everyone around them and everything else. So then Apple put this update in, people download the update, they don't put it in the warning as Sachs described, you know, in the little message when you download an update, they tell you, we did this, we did that, we fixed this bug, we did this. They didn't put it in there. And then suddenly they hampered all of the ability of probably millions of people in China to be able to share what's going on on the ground there. Why did Apple do that? Why did Tim Cook do that? Do you think they might work with governments? Do you think they might want to be uh, in bed with the Chinese? Why is it that the NBA never says anything bad about China, but will always say bad things about America? Do you see how this is all coming together?